evening. Here we are on the beautiful Clarence River in the most southern cane growing region in Australia, in Harwood. Today we're going to talk to Anthony Young from New South Wales Agricultural Services and he's going to tell us about some of the new varieties released from the SRA breeding program in New South Wales. G'day, I'm Anthony Young, the Extension Officer for New South Wales Sugar Building Cooperative based in Harwood Island. In New South Wales, we historically have a greater range of varieties than equivalent parts of Queensland. That's because of our range of conditions. So we need varieties that have high oily sugar for frosty areas. We need varieties that can handle low, sort of more marginal country. Here on our, uh, on this side, we have some Q242. This is a relatively recent arrival to our industry. Um, we know it's got high early sugar because we test all of our canes in propagation to see at different months of the year when they have their sugar on board. And what I like about this cane variety is it seems to handle marginal conditions better than most other varieties. It's high for RSD, it's got a high RSD rating, which means that growers who want to grow this cane really have to be serious about attending the clean seed plot. Uh, on the other hand, on this side of me, We've got Q240. Now, this has been um, in Queensland for quite a few years, and one of the issues I understand in Queensland is the amount of suckers that it has. Now, suckers to a New South Wales guy, they're a good thing, because that means we're going to get plenty of good second year growth. Now, 240, and basically anything with a Q24 in front of it, has high early sugar. And so, 240 has good early sugar. But it needs a better soil than what it's doing, what it's on here. If you put this on good riverbank soil, this thing goes like mad. And the suckers in it, and two-year-old are, you know, very big suckers. So we expect this is going to be a good tonning variety for your good country. Whereas this one here is going to be a better variety for your lower country. The last cane I'd like to show you is Q254. This is going to be released in Harwood next year because you have to give them two lots of hot water treatment before you can release it. But based on its statistics coming through the breeding program, we like the look of this cane. It's a big thick stalk on it. Um, it's handled the dry better than a lot of the other canes we've got. And since we've had that little bit of rain a month ago, it has really put some growth. We like to nickname our canes down here. And this one I call Q-Bear because it has a really sharp leaf. You can nearly shave with this leaf. And uh, we're hoping that this cane will be a good all-round cane over a variety of conditions. Because the SRA trials have been held on different lands, and this guy has stood up. Another recent release in New South Wales this year is Q255. 255 is a red cane variety with uh, early sugar. In the SRA variety trials in New South Wales, Q255 performed as well as all the standards, especially in a two-year-old crop. More information is available about these varieties on QCane Select on the Sugar Research website.